Hello everybody, I would like to work through this very interesting problem solving question. This question was actually one of the questions in the May-June maths exam paper 1, the rewrite paper, the supplementary exam. And I saw this question and I thought it was a really cool question. So this question was also only out of three marks. And guys, I do want to say that if you are noticing that a question that looks super complicated is only out of three marks, then there should be some kind of trick, some kind of pattern that you need to be able to recognize in this question. So let's quickly read through the question. They have given us P and they're saying that P is equal to 1 minus A. So that is the one bracket that we have there. And then T is equal to this whole sequence of brackets. So if we're first trying to just recognize the pattern here, we can see that all of our brackets start with a 1 plus. So that will happen for all of the brackets going forward. We have an A to the power of 1. Then we have an A squared. Then we have an A to the 4. So we can assume that the powers of A are doubling each time. So that is what's happening with these brackets. And that will continue happening as we go on and on and on with the plus plus uh, with the dot dot dot. As we go on and on and on with the dot dot dot, those kind of missing brackets in between will be 1 plus a to the 8, 1 plus a to the 16, 1 plus a to the 32, and so on. They just haven't written those in because we can recognize the pattern by looking at the first three brackets that they've given us. Now they're asking us to determine the value of p times t. So if I take this bracket 1 minus a and I multiply it by this whole kind of string of brackets that are being multiplied together, what will that be in terms of a? Remember in terms of a, that means that my answer has to have an a in it. Now, I have already just written the product down that we need to work with, and hopefully you guys can recognize that what I have here, 1 minus a times 1 plus a, that is actually a difference of two squares. If you look at the two brackets, that has been factorized. So when we multiply these two brackets together, I am going to get 1 minus a squared. Now, if you don't recognize that pattern straight away. Let's quickly foil these brackets out. 1 times 1 is 1. If I do first, if I do my outers, so 1 times A is A. Then I do my inners. Negative A times 1 is negative A. And then I'm going to do my last terms. Negative A times positive A is negative A squared. We can see that we have plus a minus a so those two terms are going to cancel out i'm only left with minus a squared now after that i'm just going to copy the rest of this going down because i am not going to spend time on rewriting all of that that is now what we have left after that but now guys hopefully you can see that from my new first two brackets i have a similar situation again i have two brackets one bracket has a plus the other one is a minus i have the same two terms so this again the product of my first two brackets is going to again be a difference of two squares that i am going to get when i foil this out so again if i'm just following the pattern from above I'm going to do my foil, first times first is 1, my outers and my inners are going to cancel out, and I'm going to be left with minus a to the 4 from the last. Negative a squared times positive a squared is minus a to the 4. Again, I am just going to copy these two leftover brackets down, and guys, I hope that you can notice the pattern that is occurring here, because now, again, from my first two brackets, these two, when I multiply them out, will give me a difference of two squares. It will give me 1 minus a to the power of 8. And I am then left with my dot 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 and my in-between brackets. And after that, I am going to have my 1 plus a to the power of 5, 1, 2. So now to actually simplify properly, we need to recognize that what is going to happen eventually... I'm going to end up with 1 minus a to the power of 512 times 1 plus 
a to the power 512 because all of the products that I'm going to have in this in between space with my dot dot dots each time I'm going to get a difference of two squares when I multiply out and the exponent is always going to double so I'm going to go from a to the 8 to a to the 16 from a to the 16 I'm going to go to a to the 32 then I'm going to go to a to the 64 then a to the 128 then a to the 256 and finally I'm going to have my 1 minus a to the 5, 1, 2. Now, when I have these two brackets, again, it is a difference of two squares. So when I multiply this out, I'm going to get 1 minus a to the power of 1024. And that is going to be your final answer in terms of a.